All right. I get this question a lot um, in some different facets with the gals that I work with. How do I be more confident? How do I really just jump into this and feel more confident about what I'm doing, about my health, about talking to other healthcare practitioners about my health? Um, I feel like I am not confident or I've been told I'm crazy or that I shouldn't be feeling this way. Hi, Christy. <laughs> um, so it can really diminish your confidence for sure. This is something that I come across and just about every gal that I work with at some point, we have to have a conversation on building your confidence. And I don't want to say just building your confidence, like, oh, just, you know, be more confident in you. <laughs> There's a lot of different aspects to look at with this. And I jotted some things down that I want to go through with you on this um, because it matters. It matters and it's important. Uh, I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, uh, specializing in teaching gals how to eat for their hormones and their cycle. And um, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. If you know, you're looking for some great resources, here you go. But when we look at confidence, one of the biggest things, um, you know, that that we struggle with is that we have been torn down by other people that it's it destroys our confidence it's like we're born with this confidence you're born with this like innate knowledge of like this is who i am or this is what i want to do or whatever right like as little kids like they might not have any idea on a topic but they will tell you about it for an hour <laughs> totally confident in whatever it is, right? They're going to sing the words to a song totally wrong, but sing it really loud. So this is something that we're given as a, at a young age, but is sort of <sighs> chipped away from us, chipped away from us. So oftentimes the biggest thing that I hear from gals is that they don't feel confident, not just like, oh, I don't feel confident in the body I'm in. I mean, sure, sure. You might not feel confident in the body you're living in because it doesn't look how you want it to look. It doesn't feel like your healthiest self. You know, I don't have energy. I'm having hot flashes. I feel like garbage. My skin is a mess, whatever it is. Right. So that's a very normal thing to not feel confident about something physical. But more than that, if we back up even it's because we don't feel confident in the direction our health is going. And then inevitably every gal has this story every gal has a story of going in to their doctor saying I I'm having this problem I'm really fatigued and they're like well okay I'll run some labs but oh you seem fine all your levels are normal because all they did was run some very basic blood labs right and I'm not saying that this is bad to do it just doesn't really show a complete picture of what's going on and so they'll say, your levels are fine. You should be fine. And then you walk out of there feeling like, maybe I really don't know my body. Maybe I really don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, you are the only one that lives in your body. So you are the only one. You are the expert on you. You are the expert on you and what's going on and what's happening in your health history. No one knows it better than you. Your file can't know it better. Somebody reading your file, whatever that is. Whatever labs say, you are the one that's living in your body. So I, I want to phrase this not as in like believing in yourself, but really trusting your truth. There are gals, and this often comes about with hormone issues, um, with other health issues specifically <laughs> impacting women, um, or autoimmune, autoimmune issues. This is huge that gals will have a lot of issues. It takes multiple doctors over many, many years to get even one diagnosis. And oftentimes when you're talking about autoimmune, there's usually more than one condition that's involved. And oftentimes they don't even dive any deeper than finding out a diagnosis to begin with. This is coming from somebody who has been diagnosed with multiple autoimmune. And it's not an easy thing to live with. And so then having anything go wrong or going in and getting some labs drawn and then being like, well, your thyroid is off, but your TSH is normal. But oh, your antibodies are really high. Huh? Okay. That's a problem. <laughs> right. And then to not have any other labs done or to not have any other follow up or not anything else. Right. It can be really frustrating. So trust your truth on your body, your health, and don't. Stop pursuing answers for you. 
That's the biggest thing. Do not give up. The worst thing that you can do is literally give up and give in and believe them. Believe other people when they say, maybe it's in your head. Ugh. There's a whole history on this, which I won't get into on this video, about how like the entire medical system is not set up to benefit females. Like it's, it's just not, it's just not. They're, they're trained in schools that all these conditions are really like, it's, it's hysterics for women. Yeah, mm. Mm. You're just a little nutty, just a little bonkers. Well, if I went to the doctor for 20 times trying to find an answer, I'd be a little bonkers too, <laughs> right? So trust your truth, trust your truth on your health, on you, because you are the only expert there is. And sometimes it just takes pursuing enough times to find the right person who's gonna run one more lab or a different type of thing. And this is why I do Dutch tests, right? This is why I do this. So if you have a story, if you have something where you're like, oh, holy crap, I got the run around here, put it in the comments. I would love to hear it because this happens for so many people and I want other gals to know like you are definitely not alone. I check the comments and I respond to them because I want to hear your stories and I actually talk about this stuff quite a bit when I do talks and lectures and things like that because it's so important. So put it in the comments. I want to know. Um, the next thing when you're talking about overall confidence, you know, besides trusting your own truth, you are the expert on your body. I'm going to write down here the five people, the five people that you're around most these are going to be your you are the average of the five people you're around most so look at your phone see who you text the most who you call the most who you facetime or video chat or whatnot um who do you communicate with the most who do you you know even if it's somebody from work that you're communicating with the, the most the five people you communicate with the most and you're around the most, you are the average of them in all aspects of your life, your, your health, your finances, your career success, your overall happiness and content contentment, everything. You are the average. So if you are looking around and you're like, gosh, the five people I hang out with the most, I mean, they're not bad people, but man, I don't want to be where they're at. They don't have careers that I aspire to do. I, you know, if none of them are where you want to be financially or anything or health wise, mindset wise, confidence wise, right? Nothing will help grow your confidence than hanging out with a super confident person, super confident person. I hear this a lot and I hear this just from people, um, who they're like, gosh, I wish you would, could come with me to my doctor's appointment. I wish you could come with me to this or this. And it's not, I mean, yes, because, uh, you know, yes, I am a physician myself. But it's because I have a confidence about believing the person. You know what I mean? That's the biggest thing. That's what they want on their side. That's what they want some of. You absolutely can have that, right? Christy, environment and community is everything. Yes! Yes, it is. And by, yes, this is exactly it. So if you are around people who are confident and who, even if you're not confident in every single area of your life, but you have some areas of confidence, you can grab onto that and have it spill over into other areas. It's a big thing, especially if you are somebody who has been sort of chipped away at. Your confidence was chipped away at by you know, peers growing up, by your family, making fun of you, teasing you, um, by health professionals, by significant others, things like that. You can have your confidence really just kind of wear down. And then if you're around people that also are not confident, that's not going to be helpful for you. Environment and community. I love it. Just how Christy said it. Yes, that is absolutely it. And then the last thing that can really help your confidence, because you might be thinking like, well, what do I have to be confident about? Even if I trust myself and, you know, I'm around confident people, I'm not that great. I don't have anything to be confident about. Au contraire, bonjour. You definitely do. You definitely do. One of my favorite things to do when we get started in um, the Female Hormone Solution 
program is to, so there's a, a link here in the comments for you to get on the wait list um, for the next uh, uh, program that I have running. And we, um, I have another masterclass in a couple of weeks and you get a free masterclass. You get access to this masterclass where I'm going to talk about the biggest mistakes women make in um, weight loss and hormones. I'm going to deep dive into a bunch of stuff that's, again, it's totally free. Um, last masterclass, I, it went over an hour because there were so many good questions and a lot of gals had their questions answered. So make sure you're on this wait list to get this amazing masterclass. And then registration is the 23rd of February. So you do not want to miss out and you only get the registration link if you're on the wait list. So because we do fill, um, usually pretty quickly. Um, so it's a first come first serve. Yes. Yeah. It takes skill and practice. Yes, absolutely, Christy. Christy is brilliant. I love her. <laughs> Working with Dr. Westy has been an absolute game changer for my hormonal health and well-being. Ha! Yes, and we just went over some labs again, which were amazing. Huge improvement. Yes. Um, okay. Christy's an amazing person. You guys should follow her. She's commenting right now. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is something that I do when we get started because a lot of times... If you're starting a program, starting over again, and you're like, oh, again, I'm starting over again. I always feel like, oh, I'm hopeful, but I know how it's gone before, or I've been really consistent for a certain period of time, and then I fall off, and then this happens, and blah, 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 blah. And blah, blah, blah. I totally get it. I totally understand, okay? And you can feel sort of half defeated as you're even getting started. That's not a great way to start this process and get momentum. So to build more confidence in yourself, this is one of my favorite things to do. You create a list of wins. Now for some people, this can be a hard thing to do. This can be something that takes a lot of time, energy, effort, because I want you to go through as many things as you can think of and write them down. Anything that was a win. I won the spelling bee in second grade. Boom, it goes on the list. I read books for Book It and got a pizza from Pizza Hut. I'm dating myself here. <laughs> I learned how to do this cool trick on my bike. You know, all the stuff from elementary school that you can think of. Even if you're like, okay, well, that doesn't really matter to me now. It doesn't matter. If at the time you thought it was cool or you made an accomplishment, Write it down. I drew a really cool picture of a flower that my art teacher liked in seventh grade. It goes on the list. I was able to do this, this, and this. It goes on the list. I made the school play. It goes on the list. Right? Like, and there's going to be other accomplishments, right? Like, I graduated from high school. I got a scholarship to play volleyball in college. I made dean's list in college. I got into graduate school. I'm the first person in my family to get a doctorate. You know, like these are bigger accolades, all that stuff. But it doesn't just have to be the big stuff. I want you to list everything, everything that you have done that is a win. Because what this does is it trains your brain to recognize regular things as a win, as a positive thing. I hydrated really well this week. Awesome. Put it on the list. Oftentimes we look at so much of what we do as, on a day-to-day -day basis and tear ourselves down about it because other people have done that. Other people have torn us down about what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, you're eating that little piece of chocolate after your lunch? Mmm. Mmm. You were so good at lunch. You just ate a salad. Why would you ruin it with a piece of chocolate? Like your lunch is ruined because you want a small piece of chocolate after lunch. Ugh. get out of here with that oh my god right ridiculous ridiculous it's those things that tear our confidence down so it's important that you list it out you have this huge list it can be 50 things it can be 100 things it can be 500 things as many things as you can think of and keep adding to it get a list of things that you are proud of yourself for no matter how big or small they are. Because you will see what an accomplished person you are. And even if you stop to think about it for just a minute, like look at all the things that you've done in your lifetime. It doesn't matter if you didn't eat perfect this week. It didn't matter. It doesn't matter if you haven't made it to the gym yet this week. 
you are still a very accomplished person. You are still a driven person who is motivated to make a change in their life. That, that is going to bring you confidence. So it's all about listing things, these things out and really switching your brain on to, to think of yourself in a positive manner. Because when you don't think of yourself in a positive manner, you can't have confidence. So that's what we're learning to turn on. And I dive into these things in the Female Hormone Solution Program. So remember, go in the comments. Get on the wait list. You do not want to miss out on this. Again, not, not only because of the free masterclass that I'm doing in two weeks, but also all the other nuggets, all the other information. And then, of course, the program itself where we work together, walking you through this. You get your own hormone test, customized protocols, um, tailored meal guides, everything else is included. And we talk about these things that are going to be helpful for you to keep moving forward. This isn't like, oh, just eat you know, chicken and broccoli for lunch on Tuesdays and that's your meal plan, you know. No, no. We're going to teach your metabolism how to work better and we're going to implement things that you're going to keep from here on out. Yes. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any other questions. Let me know if there's anything else that you need. Um, I'm here as a resource for you. Again, you can always leave me a question in the comments or message me privately if you're not comfortable um, leaving a, a question or something um, in the comments. And I hear from women all over the world every single day because these are so common things to struggle with and deal with. So that's what I got for you tonight. Let me know if there's anything else and I will see you later.